welcome back. Another day, another vlog. <clears throat> bit of epidemic magic there. Coming through, a uh, bit of news today. Um, last day before I go back to work. Unfortunately, sister flew home, so that was good. Great to see her. It's also always good to catch up with family, as I'm sure you'll agree. Um, it's the best thing in life is family and friends. Um, and when they get to, when you're spread out, I guess, uh, especially in Australia, it's such a big country. Uh, well, when everyone lives in a different state, it's hard to catch up. So probably, I guess, once a year is a, a lucky, lucky if we can. And yeah, it was really good. Awesome to see you and always good to see family and catch up with friends on the weekend, which we did, so that's good too. It's, uh, it's highly underrated and it's good for the soul and good for the mind. And yeah, yeah, made me switch off. I, I think the weeks, the R&R &R weeks just gone on like that. I haven't even thought about work or anything you have to do with all, all the rubbish and all the bullshit you gotta go through. So it's really good to just switch off for a week and do your thing. Um, so it sort of makes it a bit tricky to do this actually, but it's good, it's better for me, I guess as a human and as a bit person just to sort of be who I am and just be a normal person for a change instead of just concentrating on finding out what's new, what's happening and all that stuff. Which is good for you guys, but it's also, I guess, good to see me as a normal person, yes. Maybe not. <laughs> um, anyway, there is a bit of news today. There's some pretty cool stuff actually out, um, which is unusual. Early in the week, this, this year has just been a tech overload. Just massive amounts of new gear. I think each year, each year just more and more stuff comes out at a higher rate. It's, must be, it's just incredibly hard for these companies to just to stay in touch let alone to get in front of the, the curve. It's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, Gigabyte has brought out the or Aorus, or Aorus, I don't know how you pronounce that properly, RTX 2080T uh, gaming box. So you've heard about <coughs> your external graphics cards, basically the units to help your laptops. Also, laptops, you can use them to help your PCs if you've got an older PC. You just need that extra, extra graphics boost for doing editing or gaming or music or whatever else where you need that graphics card power, that, that backbone and that graphics card to pull the stuff through. So they brought out the Aorus 2080, it's obviously got an RTX 2080 Ti, probably one of the most powerful graphics cards you can get at the moment, uh, which is pretty cool. It's the world's first water-cooled external GPU box, they're claiming which is again pretty cool, it's got RGB, it's got all the good stuff, 40 gigabytes per second, 100, 100 watt charging for external components plugged into it. Uh, it runs one HDMI, three display ports for your three t uh, screens, which is pretty darn cool, and one USB-C virtual uh, link. So it's got everything. So basically plug, connect your laptop to it by USB-C and your power of your laptop is going to just go up tenfold. Uh, if you're an editor, and that's mainly what I looked at it for, for us guys that do YouTube and creative stuff, um, having something like that where, I think I've talked many times about my poor little MacBook 13 Retina from 2014. She's dying fast. Well, actually, she's not dying fast. She is still just perfect at everything other than editing, unfortunately. She is a magical bit of gear and never missed a beat, so I can never knock out all for it. But when it comes to editing, it's just ridiculously slow, like just crazy slow. So having something like this would be great. Unfortunately, this is only for the Windows 10, uh, or not window, for the Windows system. So it's no good for the apples yet. I'm assuming hopefully they can set it, get it set up so they can have the same thing for the Windows. So if you've got to say a 2015-16 model iMac uh, or MacBook Pro or something like that that you can plug this bad boy in. There are a few out there but they're nowhere near as got the grunt of this thing as a 2080 Ti. That's pretty amazing. 
Uh, 3.8 kilos, comes with its own bag. Uh, I'll chuck a quick photo of it, I quick, did a quick snip of it, just so you get an idea of it for you guys out there that are running PCs. Amazing bit of kit again. Uh, no prices as yet, no release dates as yet, but with, I think, the 2080 Ti is around the seven eight hundred dollar US mark, so it's about a thousand bucks Australian. It's going to be well into the fifteen hundred two grand mark for this thing, but it might be cheaper than buying a whole new computer if, if only if all you need is that extra grunt. This might be something that can delay you having to pay the four or five grand. You might only have to pay half that and still get another five years before you have to do a full upgrade. So definitely worthwhile looking at it. Uh, again, first water-cooled external GPU unit, so it's just packing a heap of grunt in it. Uh, yeah, again, get the more things that come through for creatives. And I think we've got to thank, and I have to thank, the gaming community. Yeah. Those guys, as much as everyone puts shit on them that they, it's not a real job and all that crap, which we all know, how ridiculous that is, they work harder than most people do in their lifetime. Um, their gear and constantly having to get better and better and better and faster and quicker and all that has made computer technology just soar. It's just really pumping hole because on the back of this gaming boom, which we're seeing right now. So really cool and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Definitely something cool. Let's say that three times, I think so. Anyway, it's cool. Um, wouldn't be Australian if I didn't mention the Melbourne Cup today. Uh, very close finish. I only got to see the race. I was actually cooking. I was making shepherd's pie, um, sweet potato shepherd's pie for dinner for the family. So I only got to see probably the ending of the race. I quickly had a quick gander. Um, 20 plus horses. You get probably more chance to get the test lotto numbers than the pick and the winning in the Melbourne Cup. Happens every year, no one knows he's going to win, everyone thinks they do, but they don't. Uh, and Australian horse won, which was fantastic. Uh, Val and Leclerc won by a nose, and then there was a dispute on second to fourth, which seen the second, second, run, or second place horse get pushed back to fourth, and third become second, fourth become third, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, very close at the end. There's a good half a dozen horses within a body length of the winner. Um, obviously, some huge protests around Australia about animal rights and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, the way I see it, that's pretty much everything you're talking about with sports. So, if you're going to talk about horses and their welfare, you're going to have to start talking about football players, rugby players, Gridiron players, baseball players, they all just get used and abused by the powers that be, the companies that own them, the teams that own them, the betting agencies, all that just trash sports people like they do horses, and the horses are bred specifically for that, so I don't find any problem with it. Um, if you're gonna start going down that alley, you're gonna have to start banning all sports, because that's exactly the same thing as the horses. Um, I've trashed my body for sport. I love it. I have no problem with it. Um, those horses that do race in those big races and that do get looked after very, very well. Uh, my father's owned horses for many years and they get treated exceptionally well. They have the best of vet care, the best food, uh, training, water rehabs, hydro, all that sort of stuff. They are probably better looked after than what our veterans and our elderly people are looked after in this country. So I find it just a bit contradictory of these people that are whinging about it that really need to have a just look open. You Don't just look down the barrel and just look at this thing and go, oh yeah, horses die, that's fine, that's cool. Um, look at your NFL. NFL, the average age of people that play the NFL die at 40. Uh, look at your, what happens to ex-sports stars in this country. You've been cousins that have gone from the top to the bottom and become drug addicts and pushed away and just disappear and become nothing and broke after they've spent their whole lives to uh, make people happy. It just 
Yeah, you can't really, I don't see how they can do it, but yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But, huge day, there'll be a lot of sore heads tomorrow in Melbourne, or pretty much they'll get drunk and loose, that's what the race is about. Going on, it's one of those days where you get to blow off steam and just switch off and just let it loose and let everyone have it. And yeah, good on you. Everyone needs to blow off steam, um, whether you go to horses, whatever you want to do, you go to Vegas, whatever you want to do. You need to be able to get rid of modern day stress and there's not enough avenues anymore because everything's PC. If they're going to start doing this with our beloved horse races, well then we are totally screwed as a nation. We've probably already gone past that point anyway. I work something like that, so yeah, it's crazy. Um, Internet Explorer. Let's talk about that. Finally done. Will not be explore. Uh, will not be in any more Windows computers uh, as standard browser. Um, it's pretty much going to be over. Edge is finally taken over, replaced it. They've done a re rehash of the logo. They've done some more things. Edge is here to stay. Long live Internet Explorer. For your millennials, you probably really don't understand what we have to. That that, that was the go-to browser. Everyone used Internet Explorer. Um, <clears throat> from when I first used a computer, it was to get on the internet, it was Internet Explorer and Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves you can still get, but you've got to get a link to it to go to it to get it, and you can just punch whatever you want into a browser and you get the same effect pretty much. You get more ads and crap, but you still get the same effect. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, Internet Explorer did a fantastic job for the internet and it helped us get through and start off the internet where we are today. So, I guess a, a little bit of a sad day on the internet side to see something as powerful and helpful as it was to all of us that used it to see it dying off, and that's it. It's been replaced with this edge which no one really uses. Um, it's either Chrome or if you're an Apple user, you use Safari, or if you have ones, you need to Chrome. And that's, I mean, there's some other ones out there, but they're the big two, realistically. Um, Chrome's played with stealing the data issues. Safari, you can't, it blocks everything, so if you want to try and get points for your velocity or whatever, you've got to go and use Chrome, because you can't, or another browser, because you can't use Safari, because it'll block everything. So it's 50-50, you need one or two anyway nowadays just to cover what you need. But yeah, so sad day I'm Internet Explorer, thanks for everything Internet Explorer, much appreciated, you did a great job. Um, Google Maps, Google Maps now has the Inconiga, in Inconiga, get it, 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 in, in incognito mode, wow, that took a while to get out. So that basically means uh, it won't record your locations you go to and record all that data into its history, into its data files. So if you're one a person concerned about you going from one pizza shop to the next pizza shop and you eat five pizzas a day and you're the size of a house, or you go and buy stuff like that, basically this can't track you anymore. It won't record that data into its history. So you're in the clear. Um, so Trump now can use Google Maps in incognito mode and you rest assured no one know where he's gone to get his burgers. I guess that's pretty important. Mm. Ooh. But yeah, so that's pretty handy. Uh, good to see him listen to customers a bit. That's pretty cool. Uh, Photoshop has been made available for iPads. Uh, wasn't it available before? It's supposed to be a full version, some people are saying it's not really a full version. Um, it's a little, little bit dumbed down or, or thinned out, I guess. Uh, $10 US a month to get it. If you already got the Adobe package, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to get to it straight away. It'll be part of your package. But um, yeah, I guess that's pretty handy. The iPad is getting super mega powerful. If you are one of those creative guys that have the ability to afford an iPad Pro, or, which I can't because of the price of a new freaking computer. I don't know why you could, why would you go there when it's, you just pay over a little bit to get a whole computer, but yeah, for ease of use or people with plenty of cash, 
Um, our iPad Pro, you can go on there, Photoshop, you can sit there and edit with a pencil and do all that stuff. So that's really good. It, now that it's one of those steps I think the iPad needed to make, so it becomes more of a chance of that become your personal computer. So very good. Um, yeah, available now. And last but not least, uh, Apple TV Plus went live November the 1st. Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't checked on my Apple TV here if I can get it as yet. Um, <clears throat> it's about five dollars US a month, so it's about seven, eight bucks in Australian. It's a little bit cheaper than your Netflixes and stands, three or four bucks cheaper. So that's pretty cool. It does have limited comment uh, content on it, um, but the shows on there, from what I've heard, are uh, not too bad at all. This morning show, obviously, it's their big headliner. Uh, there's only three episodes at the moment available. Uh, that's getting some really great reviews. So if you're a avid uh, TV show streamer or a streamer and you want to, looking for the next show, um, is that my paying another few bucks a month? I, I can't remember if you get the gaming as well free for that, free with that with that purchase with the Apple TV Plus. I'm not sure. Check on it. I, I haven't got too much data. I've just sort of just caught this tonight. Um, yeah, you've got the morning show, Reefs with a Spoon, Steve Carell and Jennifer Aniston. That's getting fantastic reviews. Apparently a really good show. Um, yeah, really good quality of the shows coming out on it. Uh, Apple obviously got plenty of money to throw into it, so it's gonna, it should be a fairly good setup. Uh, up there with Netflix and Stan, the two big guys. Disney to come. So there's another one there as well. Disney's announced a few of their packages and bits and pieces today as well. So there's, it's all happening on the streaming side. It's definitely the way of the future. I can't see normal TV lasting too much longer, maybe two to five years. You've got shares in the TV station. I suggest you probably want to sell them soon. It's pretty much going to be the way it is. We just need the internet to catch up. Uh, and I think that's where 5G will definitely kick in. Once that gets rolled out and get all enough of the 5G um, senders out, units out there and all the streets so you can get that, that wherever you go you get the full reception. That's when this full streaming will really, really, really boom off. And of course SpaceX, once that kicks in too, that's even better than 5G because that's, you don't even need to be in a bad spot. You can be wherever you want and still get, sit down and watch Reese, Steve and Jennifer live in the morning show. And that's a baby. Uh, Going to get up early. Early start tomorrow. Nice little 15, 16 hour day tomorrow for work. And then get home. Get another show out to you guys. After a run. Because I need to. I haven't run for a week. A week off. Need a little bit of fitness. Woo. Anyway, that's it. Back to work. Two weeks on. And then another week off. It's been a good Monday. Or Tuesday. 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 I've been another day. It is. Tuesday night, I hope you've had a good day. If you've been in the Melbourne Cup, I hope you're recovering and don't feel too bad. Uh, wax some multivitamins in, get a Barocca in you before you go to bed or something. It's probably the best time to take it because they're harder to take in the morning and probably not going to be as effective. I'll see you all tomorrow night while I'm at work. From the room, from the studio room, pal, that'll be me. So wherever you're coming home from the Cup, Go into hospital from the cup to get your stomach pumped or in bed getting ready to fly to work. I'll see you all tomorrow.